And now in this lecture we'll talk about the Israel war against the terror organization Hamas. The war is called uh, Iron Shot and uh, it is a war uh, of the state of uh, Israel against the terrorist organization Hamas and its government as well as uh, against the other terror and uh, other ter terrorist organizations in the Gaza Strip which launched a, uh, a wide uh, surprise attack uh, on military and civilian targets in Israel and in particular the settlements of the Western Negev on Saturday, October 7th, 2023 in the early day of Simchat Torah. Uh, besides uh, the focus of the war in the Gaza Strip, the war has also other fronts on Israel's borders, uh, on Israel's borders uh, with Lebanon, uh, with Lebanon and Syria, in Judea and Samaria, in the Red Sea and against uh, Iran. The war ignited a lively global discourse. Uh, demo uh, demonstrations uh, of support and protest and protests and uh, an unprecedented wave of uh, anti-semitism uh, anti worldwide and uh, in the West in particular. In the surprise attack, thousands of terrorists uh, uh, infiltrated the territory of Israel and massacred, raped, and systematically abused the civilian population. Okay, abused uh, the civilian populations. Uh, some of the citizens uh, in the communities that were attacked remained besieged in their homes and fought for their lives with uh, members of the standby units for long hours without military assistance. This day was the deadliest uh, for the Jews since the Holocaust. In addition, the terrorists kidnapped 251 people, including soldiers, citizens, and uh, foreigners. To the Gaza Strip, Following uh, the attack, the state of Israel declared war on the Hamas terrorist organization and set two goals for the war. The first goal is the elimination of Hamas uh, military infrastructure and the removal, and the second goal is the removal of its rule in the strip. Then a third goal was added, that is the, the return of the kidnapped. The IDF uh, mobilized over 360,000 soldiers into the reserves, the largest reserve uh, mobilization in the country's history, and thousands of civilian vehicles. With the beginning of the war, Israel evacuated 29 settlements in the Gaza envelope. Residents of 22 settlements in the northern Israel received a recommendation from the authorities to evacuate following fears that an organization of Hezbollah terrorism will also uh, intensify its attack, its uh, attacks. Israel has evacuated approximately 
80,000 residents from settlements two kilometers from the Israel-Lebanon border and they remained deserted except for IDF soldiers and, and standby units. The fighting in the Gaza Strip, which was defined as the main arena in the fighting, began with the cleansing of the area surrounding the uh, surrounding Gaza from terrorists and uh, carrying out air and sea attacks, targeted killing and spot ground raids. After the evacuation of the population from the north of the Gaza Strip, a full ground maneuver was carried out and the terrorist takeover uh, after the evacuation of the population from the north uh, of the Gaza Strip, a full ground maneuver was carried out and the takeover of tourist outposts and after a short lull in the fighting at the same time as the ostrich deal a ground maneuver was also carried out in the south of the Gaza Strip and its center and the areas that were occupied were cleared of terrorists. After that combat, after that uh, combat was characterized by intelligence based raids. The fighting included the destruction of many terrorist infrastructures, including terrorist tunnels, underground roads, tunnel shafts, underground rocket launchers, military depots, outposts, and uh, headquarters, training camps, and buildings used for combat. Also, seven hostages were rescued alive as well as uh, the bodies of uh, abductees who were hidden in the Gaza Strip. The fighting on the northern, the fighting on the northern uh, front uh, takes place between Israel and the Islamist Shia terrorist organization Hezbollah and other terrorist organizations on the Israel-Lebanon border and uh, the Israel-Syria border. On the second day of the war, Hezbollah launched guided, uh, guided rocket and, art uh, and artillery shells at the IDF positions in Ardob and Chabad Shiba, and uh, Israel responded uh, with uh, drone strikes and artillery fire. Extenders uh, of fire, which also included anti-tank missiles and airstrikes continued throughout the war. Hezbollah ranges the abandoned settlements uh, on a daily basis by firing precision weapons against tanks, causing the systematic destruction of houses and damage and, loser and losses were caused to the IDF bases. The IDF responded with, the, with a targeted killing of uh, terrorists uh, in Lebanon, attacking uh, terrorist bases as well as air, uh, as well as air tank, uh, as well as an air attack on anti-tank launcher squads before firing. About about 90, uh, 94,000 residents of South Lebanon were evacuated from their homes and much destruction was caused to uh, settlements and agriculture in South Lebanon. In response to the killing of 12 uh, children by Hezbollah, uh, by Hezbollah rocket in Mojdal Shams, the IDF killed Fuad Chukar, 
the commander of Hezbollah's military wing and the key figure in the organization. In the Judea and Samaria arena, Palestinian terrorist organizations, especially Hamas, increased their efforts to initiate terrorist attacks and cause public unrest against the uh, background of the events of the war. The IDF forces worked extens uh, extensively to eradicate and thwart the terrorist infrastructure uh, throughout Judea and Samaria. The Houthis, a Shia terrorist organization that controls, uh, that controls uh, northern Yemen and is supported and financed by Iran, by Iran and serves uh, as their proxy in their wars in the region, attacked Israel with ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, and unmanned aerial vehicles in order to interfere with the war in Gaza after US uh, Navy ships and air defense systems and Israeli Air Force aircraft intercepted the missiles and the UAVs the Houthis imposed a naval blockade on merchant ships sailing to Israel ports U.S. Uh, Navy ships operated in the Red Sea as a, as a, uh, as a strategic uh, deterrent and later attacked uh, together with other allies Houthi bases in Yemen. In Operation Long Arms, IDF warplanes uh, attacked uh, Houthi military targets in western Yemen refinery facilities, fuel tanks, power plants, and warehouses for drones and missiles. Iran involved in the war through weapons, financing, training, coordination, and political influence uh, on all forces attacking Israel including Hamas and the Islamic Jihad in Gaza, Hezbollah in Lebanon, the Houthis in Yemen, militants in Iraq, and other terrorist and proxy organizations. Also, Iran is coordinating political moves with other countries that support Hamas, such as Syria and Turkey. Israel carried out an airstrike on the building of the Iranian consulate in Damascus and succeeded in assassinating Muhammad Reza Zaidi, commander of the Quds Force in Syria and Lebanon and a senior member of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps. In response, Iran attacked Israel directly for the first time in its history and was very successfully restrained thanks to international military cooperation. Israel responded by attacking military facilities of the revolutionary guards in the Isfahan and Natanz. Even, even at uh, the time of its existence, the war is considered one of the largest of Israel's wars, both in length, in the extensive uh, damage to the Israeli armed fronts, and in the highest number of combat fronts since the War of Independence. So we can summarize and say that the Israel war against the terror organization Hamas is an armed conflict between Israel and Hamas and, uh, and Hamas that uh, uh, led uh, Palestinian militant groups uh, and uh, it has been taking uh, place in the Gaza Strip and Israel since October 7, 2023, the fifth war of the Gaza-Israel conflict 
since 2008, it has been the deadliest for Palestinians in the entire Israeli-Palestinian conflict and the most significant military engagement in the region since the Yom Kippur War. The war began when Hamas-led militant groups launched a surprise attack on Israel on uh, uh, October 7th, which, in, uh, which involved a rocket barrage and a few thousand militants reaching the Gaza-Israel barrier and attacking Israeli civilian communities and military bases. During this attack, 1139 Israelis and uh, foreign nationals uh, were killed, including 815 civilians. In addition, 251 Israelis and foreigners were taken captive into Gaza with the stated goal to force Israel to release Palestinian prisoners. Hamas said its attack was in response to Israel's, to Israel's continued occupation, blockade of Gaza and expansion of settlements, as well as alleged threats to Al-Aqsa uh, Mosque. To Al-Aqsa Mosque and the general pl uh, plight of the Palestinians. After clearing militants from its territory, Israel launched one of the most destructive bombing campaigns in uh, modern history and invaded Gaza on October 27th with the stated objective of destroying Hamas and freeing hostages. Since the start of the Israeli operation, more than 40,000 Palestinians in Gaza have been killed and 50% of them were terrorists. Uh, Israel uh, tightened, blocked, uh, cut off uh, basic uh, necessities and attacks on infrastructure have caused health care collapse and impending famine. By early 2024, Israeli forces had destroyed or damaged more than half of Gaza's houses, at least a third of its recover and farmland, most of its schools and universities, because of the fact that Hamas used the schools in order to fire uh, from the schools uh, rockets uh, uh, to Israel and hundreds of cultural landmarks and at least a dozen cemeteries. Nearly all the strips, 2.3 million residents, have been forcibly displaced. Over 100,000 Israelis remain internally displaced. The war continues to have significant regional and international repercussions, large, uh, primarily, uh, primarily uh, pro-Palestinian protests have taken place across the world, calling for a ceasefire. The International Court of Justice is reviewing a case accusing Israel of committing uh, genocide in Gaza, but they never talked about the fact that uh, Hamas uh, did uh, a massacre uh, in the Israelis uh, and uh, raped, uh, abducted Israelis and elderly people. And uh, actually, uh, Hamas uh, the organization groups, uh, they are the ones that should be uh, uh, persecuted uh, by the uh, uh, International Court of Justice, not Israel. The United States have, uh, has given Israel extensive military aid and vetoed multiple UN Security Council ceasefire resolutions. Meanwhile, the axis of resistance have engaged with its groups, with its groups attacking American military bases 
in the Middle East. The Iranian Fatimi movement attacking commercial ships allegedly linked to Israel in uh, pouring as a US-led uh, military response and uh, the ongoing extent exchange of strikes between Lebanon, Lebanon's Hezbollah and Israel risking the eruption of another full-scale war. Okay, thank you very much.